Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be looking at a try hack me room called MD2 to PDF, which essentially means markdown to PDF. Now, if you are familiar with HTML to PDF vulnerabilities, then I'm pretty sure that this room will be straightforward for you. But if you are not, no worries, we'll try to solve this. So first of all, we have an IP address with us. So first of all, what we can try to do is turn, rust, run a rust scan because you never know what is in your way and there could be some easier ways to solve a CTF just by looking at the services that are running in the or that are active in the machine so as you can see we don't have anything much we just have port 22 and 80 open while we do some reconnaissance let's just try to perform a Durvist to scan or go to scan so word list checklist common dot text and let's just go for 20 cool so here is what we have so we know that port 80 is open and 22 is open we won't be looking at 22 don't want to get into the rabbit hole of brute forcing username and password fields but here we have our screen which says md2 to pdf if you look at the source code html source code um guessing we won't find anything much but for the sake of it let's just see if we view the space source code you'll you won't see anything much so we have a simple boots, uh, bootstrap script and code mirror nothing fancy but we have markdown.js so as you can see this is also a code mirror script nothing that will particularly interest us so what we can try to do is let's just play with some markdown so markdown if you do not know if you've used github then you know what markdown is but essentially it's just way it's just a way of writing things that to for it to appear fancier so for example let's write let's write hey and if i use two this is essentially a way of saying that i want it in h2 and if i say hey three convert it to pdf and you'll see that here we have it uh, all the text that we had written in different um, headings so this is how essentially the markdown works so can we have markdown to PDF exploits so uh, we have something turn up by sneak so if you have used HTML to PDF injection or a remote code execution this would be fairly straightforward because we know that markdown is markdown also accepts html code so for example if i write word to write b hello okay uh let's just it let's just write it in h1 h2 sorry h1 h2 hello and let's just convert it and you'll see that it also accepts HTML code. So this gives us a hint that maybe we can import the etc.password file, but will in, in our case, can it contain a flag? So we are not sure about that, right? So let's just do our reconnaissance. So here we have a poc.js file that we can use. And let's just see if it works in our case. If it does, great. Uh, if not, we'll look at a different thing. So let's just remove the new line characters and let's just see. So what I'm guessing is for this to work, I should only be able to view RC. This should work as a comment when it comes to uh, markdown. But when it is being converted to PDF, this should be interpreted as a code. And if we only get to see RCE, then we'll confirm that our code has worked though we might not be able to see the output of id because this will be redirected to temp rc.txt which we do not have access to but if you see everything got uh, nothing got executed on the back end and we have everything as it is so no help from here as of now so let's just keep our notes clear over here so we know that we can use html and because HTML to PDF, so let's just say HTML to PDF exploit hack tricks. 
So here we have a couple of payloads that we can typically use in order to uh, exploit. Um, but what I'm particularly looking for is iframe. So with the help of iframe, what I can typically do is I can view everything in the same page. And if you see here, we have a slash admin open. So let's just see if that helps us. And here you can see that this page can only be seen internally. And this is the hint that we had been looking for. So what we can do is we can use iframe. Source is equal to HTTP localhost 5000 because this is what we had got over here localhost 5000 and let's just say admin and let's just see what happens and as you can see we get our flag right over here so thank you guys this is it for the video